Walls was the oldest member of the Jaegers and also was the first to come to the meetup point. He was part of the Empire's incineration squad before joining the Jaeger. So here are the lists for Balls. Balls believes in karma. He believes that the karma will soon catch up to him for the actions he has done in the past, though he still does his job for the sake of his wife and child. He also do the job so his family can have a food on their table. Balls is really creepy. I mean, he walks around with his menacing gas mask. He also has a flamethrower Tegu that he used to burn traitors at the stake and wipe out plague-ridden villages. Though he was like that, he has a wife and a daughter that he loves very much. When others feel sympathy towards him, he does not feel he deserves it, since his job requires him to be a mass murderer. Whether it is a child or a woman, he will burn them. Balls knows that his actions are terrible and was always ready for his death. Though on his very last moment, when Chelsea disguises as a child and killed him, he does not want to die since his wife and child are waiting for him. Despite him having a scary mask, a massive body, and a grisly scars, Balls is actually a very sweet guy and one of the most sympathetic villain in the series. He does cook food for the member of the Jaeger, but when they eat, he stepped outside. According to him, the food might taste bad if they see his face. After S. Death convinced him that no one would mind his unmasked appearance, he ate together with them without wearing any mask. His face was never revealed, though a small glance of Ball's face was seen when Esteth unmasked him during a group meal. It can be seen that his hair turned out to be short, spiky, and blonde. His tegu is called Rubicante. Rubicante can function as a standard flamethrower, but not only that, it can also fire highly concentrated fireballs for long-range attack and its flames are so hot that water cannot even extinguish it. Paul's wife and daughter had a brutal ending on the manga. They visited his grave every day but during the wild hunt arc, they were found by Shura and was raped and brutally murdered. Keep in mind that the wild hunt arc was not adapted to the anime, could be because of the scene. However, on the anime, they have survived and they were shown helping to distribute the food after the revolution. In the book of Dante's Divine Comedy, Rubicante is one of the 13 devils that guard the 8th circle of hell. Its fire abilities might be inspired by Rubicante from Final Fantasy. Rubicante is one of the four arc fiends associated with the elements. His association is fire. The flame's settings could also be a reference to a real-world napalm, since napalm is known to stick to victim's skin and no effective way to remove it. It will only be extinguished if it burns out completely. Peace out.